straight right into it. Um, beginner's yoga. Today we'll go for about 30 minutes. And um, let's just see what happens. About 30 minutes, we're going to focus a little bit on some, some deep stretches. We don't usually do a ton of deep stretching. Um, but today, why not? Let's just have a little bit of fun with it and, and see what happens. All right, so a couple of things to consider while we're going through these deep stretches. Uh, number one, of course, is make sure you're in control. You don't want to go too far too fast. It should not hurt. You may get into some nooks and crannies and it may be a little challenging, which as long as it stays, the, the sensations stay inside your muscles, should be fine. But don't push, don't go too far, don't be too vigorous, just, just be gentle. The second thing is um, use your muscles. And it seems counterintuitive when you're trying to stretch, um, especially if you've done yin yoga in the past. Yin yoga, you're trying to relax to get into these deep stretches. But yin yoga, you're lying on the ground and everything's pretty safe and it's pretty okay to let loose. When we're standing and we're using opposing muscle groups to help with the stretch, you need to use your muscles. Not 100%, but <laughs> just, in, just enough that um, you can feel some resistance as you're going through the stretches. So let's begin. Um, and I'll talk us through it as we go. First thing is side stretch. We're going to try to stretch the front, back, sides of the body, legs, hips, everything. And then we'll get into some yoga poses and see if we can, we can uh, just get a little deeper. Okay, so first things first, side stretch. Now, we can start with our arms by our sides. Inhale. Exhale. Just very simply push your hip to one side. So in this case, if you're facing me, I'm pushing my left hip to my right. But I tighten up the right leg to help resist as I'm pushing this hip to the side. So you're trying to feel a stretch pretty much on the side body. Tone up. It sounds strange, but the side you're trying to stretch, that's the side you want to tone up a little bit. And just keep pushing your hip. So this leg, the right leg, is getting heavier and heavier as you're starting to push and bend into the right side. Now this is variation one. We'll get a little bit deeper into this as we go. Breathe. I'm keeping my left hand on my left hip just to kind of remind me, push. Breathe and resist a little bit on the left side. Resist a little more and come up to standing position. So hopefully already you just feel a little more blood circulating through the left, the, uh, the right side of your partner. Now the right hand to the right waist, tone up the left side and push into your hip. It's really the left side muscles contract and that's what's pushing your hip to the left. But resist a little bit with your left and you'll start to feel a stretch, hopefully through your left hip and down your left leg. Breathe. Resist a little bit with your left side. Push a little bit with your right hand if you like. Stay toned. Tone up a little more and come back up to standing position. So hopefully already you start to feel a little bit of blood circulating, a little bit of uh, a stretch on the left and right side. Now, you can repeat that, or, if you like, bring your left arm up overhead, grab onto your left wrist, inhale. As you exhale, same thing, tone up your left side and send your hips to the left. But now, because your arm is up overhead, your right arm pulls a little bit on your left wrist. So your left leg is getting heavier and heavier. 
you're using the muscles on the left side to resist and hopefully feeling a stretch go all the way up from your left ankle bone all the way up to your left wrist. Now brace yourself and come out of the stretch. Excuse me. If that's too intense, just go back to the first version. Right arm up. Grab onto your right wrist. Inhale. As you exhale, tone up your right side of your body as you bend towards your right. Breathe. Breathing is the key. If you find that you're like, uh, holding your breath, and it, uh, uh, you're just going too far too soon. You should be able to breathe, hang out, say a few words, demonstrate it as you're doing it, and talk through it. Now tone your muscles. Come on up to a standing position, arms down. So that's getting into some of the side stretching. And we may come back to some more side stretches. Now the next one is to stretch the front part of the body. But this one we got to be a little bit careful with because of the low back. To help protect the low back, you've got to squeeze your glutes. So don't worry too much about how much you stretch here in the front. Concentrate more about protecting your back. Okay? I'll turn sideways. We'll look together, we'll go together. Feet about hip width apart. Keep your legs toned, because remember, we're trying to stretch the front, so you want to tone the front. Now also, tone your glutes. And just like we did with the side bending stretch, we push your hips forward, push the hips forward. So the weight is going to shift out over the toes, Lift the chest a tiny little bit, go real slow, real slow, nice and easy, until you start to feel a stretch up the front of your body. If you don't feel the stretch up the front of your body, don't worry. As long as it doesn't hurt, you're definitely going to get a stretch, you're going to increase the blood flow, you're going to start to loosen up the front hips and uh, the low abs. Breathe. Keep your quadriceps toned. You're trying to do a posterior pelvic tilt. And you're trying to get a lot of weight into your toes. One more inhale. Tone up a little more. And stand up. So of course, in a conventional yoga class, that breaks a lot of rules. Normally we want to stand in our heels, tuck the pelvis under, and be upright. That's okay, we're not doing mountain pose, we're trying to do a front stretch. Now, just like we did with the side stretch, we'll try to take our arms overhead. But remember, that's going to intensify the stretch. So you've really got to tone your glutes, you've got to really be mindful of how you're feeling, uh, what's going on in your body. So, either repeat what we just did. Push, kind of use your hands, push your hips forward or arms overhead. Inhale. Tone up your quadriceps, tone up your glutes, and just start pushing your hip forward. Push your hips forward. You're doing a posterior pelvic tilt. You're trying to get the weight out over your toes. Keep tucking your pelvis, keep tightening your glutes. Maybe lift your arms a little higher. Maybe lift your chest just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hang in there and breathe for three, two, stay toned. One, tone up even more and come to a standing position. And let your arms drop. So even if you don't bring your arms up overhead, hopefully you start to feel some blood circulating in the front of your body. Now we're trying to do uh, a little stretch for the hamstrings. Now here we're going to borrow from the rearward shift. Let me demonstrate it for you, and then we'll do it together. Be mindful of this one too. Be mindful of all of them. <laughs> you know, I, I always, uh, I usually always preface things by saying, be mindful. Be mindful. Don't go into any of this stuff without uh, considering how it's affecting your, your muscles, your joints, etc. 
So let me demonstrate this for you first. We get into a little bit of a rearward shift. Soft knees, shift back rearward. And in this case, I'm going to take my right foot and just step forward a little bit. So a little tiny stagger stance rearward shift. Straighten your front leg, bring the toes toward the shins, and then continue rearward shifting. So what happens here is you can get nice stretch on the, the hamstring in this front leg. But because you keep your toes lifting, activate quadriceps, it makes it safer because you're resisting as you're stretching. Okay? So let's try it together. Bring your feet about hip width apart. Bend your knees slightly. So this is just going to help us shift into a safer position. Bend your knees slightly. Sear your right, excuse me, your left leg. And step your left leg forward just a little bit. So your narrow stagger stance. Balance should be pretty good. Knees slightly bent. It gets your center of gravity low. Should be kind of easy to balance here. Now straighten the left leg and pull the left toes towards your shin. So now you've toned your left leg. Hands to your waist and just continue rearward shifting. Keep pushing your butt back. And just go easy because you'll start to feel some stress on your left hamstring, which is what you want in a good way. Just hold and breathe. Keep lifting your tailbone. Keep lifting your chest bone. And just get a nice stretch on the hamstring of that rear leg. So hang in there with me for three, two, one. Tone up all your leg muscles and stand up. Good. And I will switch sides. Try the other side. Feet about hip width apart. Bend your knees slightly. Rearward shift just a tiny little bit. Right leg takes a little step forward. Straighten the right leg. Pull your right toes back. And then continue the rearward shift. You're trying to lift your tailbone. You're trying to lift your chest bone and get some nice stress on the hamstring of that front leg. You just keep breathing. If it's too much, back out of it a little bit. If it's too little, just keep rearward shifting. One more inhale. One more exhale. Get tall. Stand straight up. Bring your feet together, please. And then just shake out any residual tension you may have. 